If you are sick and wanting to get healthier as well as a deeper relationship with Christ, listen up so I can tell you three ways the enemy can sneak into your life. I highly suggest becoming aware of these three things and praying against this so you can have a joyful life in Christ. I am Brooklyn Hannah. Subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I share a new video. So let's get to it. All three of these ways start with a D, so they're really easy to remember. So number one is distraction. So the enemy is very good at distracting, and he does it to all of us. If you don't bring awareness to this, then it can happen very quickly and last for a very long time. John 10.10 10 says the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have life and have it abundantly. So the enemy wants to steal your time with God, wants to distract you from, from what really matters. For example, you realize that it's been a week since you've even read the Bible. Why haven't you done it? Well, your mind and the enemy has you thinking that you have too much work to do, that you need 30 more minutes of sleep and how that feels so nice. The kids are always needy in the morning and the excuses go on. The internet is another way we easily get distracted. It's easy to grab your phone the first thing in the morning when you wake up to check social media for emails or for work, right? And before you know it, you've spent 30 minutes that you had for Bible reading by checking your phone. It's also easy to scroll on your phone when you're hanging out with your family or your friends instead of engaging in the conversation. It's so important to bring daily awareness to your spiritual walk and where you may be distracted in life. Are you reading the Bible, praying, and doing other things to grow your relationship closer to God? And if not, why? Well, there may be some things that you're distracted with in life. And if you're resisting the urge to get to know God more, resisting wanting to go into church, recognize that and shift your heart and your mind towards desiring God more. But don't do this all on your own strength. I suggest praying against distractions every single day. Number two is deception. The enemy is good at deceiving us and getting us to believe lies about ourselves, how we should live, even our spiritual walk with God. For example, maybe God has called you to do something, but you don't think you're good enough. I can explain what this looks like for me. When God called me to do um, Christian coaching online, I didn't think I could do it. Why? Because I compared myself to everyone else who was better. They're a better speaker. They're a better writer. And I was always an introvert, so I identified with that. And I talked myself into thinking I wasn't equipped. But what if that was getting in the way of what God was calling me to do? We have to be bold and move forward with confidence even when the enemy is placing lies into our mind. So Satan also deceives us into thinking things of the world make us happy and content. For example, that we have to have a huge house or we need to have more and more money or that you can't be happy without alcoholic beverages every weekend or being married to a dream man or woman. And the enemy makes food sound more comforting than God. The truth is joy, peace, contentment comes from Christ and Christ alone. And the enemy also has us believing lies about God, that God doesn't love us or forgive us, that he can't be trusted and that we should try to figure out things on our own. We know that God's promises are true and they can be trusted, so we have to stop listening to all the lies. And lastly, number three is division. Satan sneaks in and divides people all the time. He's the one who wants you to think negatively about your friend or your sibling. The enemy is the one tempting you to stay angry and to be bitter. Ephesians 4, 31 and 32 says, Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and slander be put away from you along with malice. So be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. As Christians, we're not supposed to hold grudges. We aren't supposed to seek revenge and get the other person back. Instead, we're called to be forgiving and to treat others in love as God does, even if they act in anger towards us, even if they mistreat us. So it's easier said than done. I get it. And sometimes we take one little thing, though, and sometimes someone said one little thing wrong and we blow it out of proportion. It's easy to start ruminating on that person in a negative way. And before we know it, we let the enemy ruin our whole day. Instead, we have to really recognize where the enemy is dividing us from others. We have to stop pointing fingers at the other person, at everyone else, what everyone else is doing, and instead work on our own negative perceptions of people and turn them into the positive. We have to stop gossiping, talking negatively about people. If we act like Christ, we should all be getting along, and that is our goal. 
So there are really three ways that I think are really important to understand that the enemy can sneak into our life. And so here's what to do next. Number one, you must recognize it. You cannot change these thinking patterns and behaviors without first bringing awareness to them. Ask yourself daily, where is the enemy distracting, deceiving, and dividing? Number two, pray against these things daily because you can't do it in your own strength. And number three, change your behaviors and redirect your thinking patterns to the more positive. If you're grabbing your phone first thing in the morning, grab your Bible instead. If you're gossiping negatively about your spouse, stop. If lies from the enemy are keeping you from what God is calling you to do, stop believing those lies. So if you're struggling with physical health challenges such as fatigue and brain fog and you're ready to transform your life physically, emotionally, and spiritually, go ahead and schedule a free strategy session down below with the link God bless and Godspeed.